Alice, we'll talk about tomorrow night's game in a bit, but must be just pleased to be back out on the grass and back in contention for games and squads. Yeah, no, definitely. It's been a tough, a tough four months for me um, since I got injured at Bradford. Um, so yeah, just pleased to get back out there. Hopefully, I can, you know, provide provide something for the team and we can um, we can get get off to a good start to the Christmas period with a win tomorrow. And, and obviously, was it four months that you always expected it to be four months, or was it a bit longer or shorter than at first thought? Uh, yeah, I think initially I didn't think it was going to be too bad, and then obviously speaking to specialists and and stuff like that, and then you know undergoing surgery, I, it sort of was expected to be you know quite a, um, a lengthy injury. There's obviously ups and downs throughout that time, and there was a point where I thought I might be back a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, now I'm at a point now where I feel you know good and fit to play. So yeah, it's uh, it's just just good to be back out there. And in those more difficult times, is it tough mentally to keep yourself knowing that all the work that you're going to be doing in the gym or, or a swimming pool or anywhere else you're doing it is for an end goal? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, I think there's, you know, times throughout where you go through, you know, times where you can get, feel like you can get through it quite easily and then there's obviously really tough times. Um, yeah, there was a time where I thought I was going to be back out on the pitch and then it sort of just had a bit of a setback and I think they're the things that really mentally you have to deal with as a as an injured player, you know, trying to you know stay focused, stay stay on course, and, and do everything you can to make sure that when you do come back, you know, you're fit and as as good as you can be for the team. And unfortunately for us, but is it is it better when there's other lads around you all the time, uh, you know, doing the same work and with the same goal of getting back fit? Um, I think to be honest, it's it's never easy, you know, regardless of. Who you've got around you when when things are not going well on the pitch um, or on in the league I think everything in football is a lot harder once uh, when you're not winning games so for me it's been really tough watching you know watching us not not do as well as we should be doing so I think that's how a lot of the other injured lads are feeling as well and we all want to be back out there and, and doing our bit on the pitch to, to make sure we can turn our season around yeah and like you say tomorrow's the first of uh, three or four games over the Christmas period to the players like think themselves right you know, you know we can turn things around over this period and really set ourselves up for the second half of the season yeah I think this is the best the best point of the season to turn things around or to really rack up points if you can go and put you know three or four wins together it all looks different coming into January and and you can start the year um, in, a, in a much better place than you did before the Christmas period so it's a, it's a really good chance for us to to go out and put some some points on the table yeah and hasn't that been hasn't happened too often this season, but we've had a, a clear week again of, uh, of getting work done out on the training ground and Matty been able to work uh, well with the squad this week. Yeah, I think it's been, been a really good week, to be honest. I think the performance at Wrexham, we've obviously looked over that and I think a couple of players coming back in um, to training this week has given the boys a bit of a boost and we're just really looking forward to hopefully you know, picking up three points in front of... Uh, the call you fans on, on Friday.